welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited to be introducing our brand new cake slice box die. So let's go ahead and check it out. This die set comes with all of the pieces to create your own cake slice box that's so super cute. Also, if you cut eight of these cake slices, you can actually form an entire cake. So let's take a look at some of the pieces. Right here we have the base of the cake and we have the top of the cake. This here helps you cut layers into the cake and I'll be showing you how to do that in the video. There are all these ways to decorate the top of the cake. So we have a candle, a heart, and a star. And then this piece here helps make those things a standing three-dimensional element. We also have all of the pieces to help you decorate that candle. Then we have some flat pieces that you can decorate the cake with. So we have a heart, a star, and a cute little flower. And you can see how you can layer the two pieces of the flower and that little leaf to make a cute little decorate element that almost looks like you added a little rosette to the top of your cake. Next up, we're gonna form this cake box and it's really, really easy to do. So here I've used this die and you'll see that the die creates these score lines for you. So as you run it through the die cut machine, it creates those score lines already there. And so this is the base of the cake and we've cut this from some spring fling paper. I really love using pattern paper for these cakes. So here you can see I'm folding along all of those score lines and you'll see as you fold those score lines, you can almost see that base of the cake slice start to form. So next up, we're gonna take some eighth inch double-sided tape and we're gonna be adding this to two of the tabs and then those four little mini tabs. You'll see there's one tab there, one tab there, and then we're gonna add pieces of tape to all four of those tiny little tabs. Now the reason we have those tiny little tabs is those are what help you create the rounded edge to the cake slice. So we'll add that tape on there and then remove all of those liner papers. The first thing I like to do is connect the point of the cake slice. So we're gonna attach that tab right there to the inside of the cake box and then we can peel up the liner paper on the other tab and all in all the mini tabs as well. To attach the mini tabs, we're gonna have them run along that curved part of the cake slice. So you'll see I'm gonna attach the first one and then just start curving it right along the curve and just sticking them down. And you'll see it's really, really easy to do once you do it once. You just follow the curve and then you can attach that last tab piece. And now you can see how cute the base of the cake slice is. So this is the top of the cake slice and you're gonna see something really similar here. So the die has created score lines for us again and we're gonna fold along all of those score lines on this cake slice. And I love that little scallop detail. And in this case, we die cut this from some spiffy speckles paper and I love mixing and matching these two paper collections. So now that we've got all of those pieces folded, we're gonna take out that eighth inch double-sided tape again. And once again, this is gonna be really similar to the bottom. So we're gonna add tape to the two tabs. There's one tab there and another tab there. And then we're gonna add tape to all four of those mini tabs. And once again, we're gonna be attaching those mini tabs in the same way. Once I have tape on all of my tabs, I like to remove all of that liner paper before I start attaching the whole thing. And then once again, to attach the whole thing, we're gonna start with that corner point of the cake slice. Once we have that corner point formed, we're gonna start working on the curved edge of the cake slice again. So we're gonna be attaching those mini tabs and you'll see I'm gonna go one by one, attaching them to the base of that cake slice there and going and following that curve. So you'll attach one and then kind of press around and follow the curve and it ends up working out really, really simple. You just kind of follow the curve and attach it and then keep on moving down. Once that curve is formed, we can attach that very last tab, securing the whole top of this cake slice together. And here you can see just how cute this is looking. And then wait till you see it on the little cake slice piece. Once you layer the top on and you add the icing to the cake, it's the most adorable thing. I absolutely love it. Now you may have noticed on the inside of the box that you can see the little tabs that have been attached around that curved edge. Now that actually really doesn't bother me very much, but if you want it to look a little more finished on the inside, the easiest way is to die cut another base of your cake slice box and then just trim down that pattern paper. In this case, we're gonna use a coordinating pattern paper so it's a nice seamless look, but I also think it would be really pretty to put a contrasting piece. So we just trim down the little triangle portion and I'm just gonna drop it right in. You actually don't even need adhesive because it just fits right in nice and snug and it's not going to go anywhere. And you can see how that really finishes up the inside. 
So next up, we're going to put that lid back onto the cake slice and it's time to work on a decoration. And this time I thought it would be fun to make it into a birthday cake. So we're going to work with the candle piece. So I've die cut the decorative pieces from some sticky note cardstock, the main candle from white, the candle base from some spiffy speckles, and then the candle flame from fake tan and sunflower. And so we're going to layer those candle decorative stripes on either side of this candle. And you'll see how it's already really looking like an actual candle. The next step is to start decorating with the flame. So I like to put the darker part of the flame on the candle piece first, and then I put the lighter part, the more decorative part over that. So you could have it just be plain like that, or you can add this decorative part on top, just depending on maybe how many cakes you're going to be making. So in this case, I really wanted to have all the details. So I'm going to layer all of the pieces on there. Now to make this candle into a standing candle, we're going to fold along those score lines on the base and we're going to fold them in either direction from each other. And then we're going to layer that little decorative top on top of those pieces. And don't worry, I'm going to repeat that nice and close so you can see it. So there we've got the two pieces folded in the two opposite directions. We're going to take this piece and layer it over top of those two. And those two pieces are going to stick to the bottom of that decorative scallop circle. And that's going to create the standing candle. So once I have it all fitted in there perfectly, I just add a little liquid glue in between the two pieces, sandwich that glue between them and hold it in place. And those two pieces of cardstock together are what really give it nice stability and make it into this cool decorative 3D standing candle. Then we can add a little tape runner to the bottom of the candle and stick it right on top of that cake slice. And how cute is this? Oh my goodness, I love making these. They make me so happy. One of my favorite ways to use these cake slices is to give a gift. I like to buy online gift certificates for people and to make them a little bit more special, I really like creating decorative custom boxes for people to present them in. So in this case, I'm gonna print out the logo of whatever store that I might be shopping at, Target or Mod Cloth or something like that. I'm stamping out uh, $25 there with my Riley's ABC stamp set and then I'm just gonna trim around it. And so I think that looks really cute. It's kind of custom, makes it a little bit special when you've just bought something on online. Then I like to take that piece of paper and just roll it up and then stick it right inside my cake box. And so now this gift certificate has become a more personalized special present because I've made this whole custom cake to hold it. I think it's really fun as well to kind of pick the person's favorite colors or patterns as you create these cool cakes. Another way to use these cakes is to fill them with little treats. So in this case, I'm gonna fill them with some little chocolates and you can actually fit quite a few in there. And then I'm just gonna put that cake topper back on and it's a really cute way to do favors at a party or maybe gifts for your coworkers or something like that. So you've got those cute little chocolates inside. Now this is one of my favorite things about this cake slice box. If you cut eight of them, it forms an entire cake. So that's what we did here. We've got eight slices and you can see just how adorable this looks. For a baby shower, this would be so sweet. So I love the idea of taking a ribbon and wrapping it around all the cake slices and tying a bow to hold them all in place. It's a really cute way to present favors or maybe even eight tiny little gifts for someone on their birthday. I think it'd be really sweet in a baby shower or a wedding shower as well. Well, so I absolutely love those eight slices of cake. It's just way too cute. Next up, we're gonna go over how to create a layer cake. So I've die cut the base of the cake, and now I'm taking that layer piece and just centering it right on the side of the cake piece. We'll run it through our die cut machine, and that's gonna create those three opening pieces, which looks like the layers of a cake. And we're gonna do that on the other side of the cake as well. Next, we've used the rectangle piece included in the die set to die cut some more pieces of ballet slippers cardstock. And what these rectangles are for are to fill in the layers of the cake. So one way to do this is to use a contrasting color like a brown so it would look like chocolate icing in the cake or even a fun pattern paper. But in this case, we're gonna use the same color of cardstock and that ballet slippers color because we're gonna do a really fun inlaid die cut technique. So here you can see we folded along the pieces in the exact same way, added our tape when we're just going to attach everything together exactly as we did the other box. It's just that this time it's got the layers in there. So I'm taking my liquid glue and I'm just running it all along the inside of the box on the little frames of the layers. And from there, I'm going to drop in my decorative layer piece there, which in this case is just the same color of cardstock because we're going to inlay some cake slice pieces in. 
Once we have one side done, we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're going to add our liquid glue to the inside. I like to layer it all around the outside edges and also on the slice pieces and then drop in our cardstock. Then we can just push that there and kind of hold it in place while that glue dries and it's going to look awesome. Next we're going to take that same layer die and we're going to die cut that from guava, sticky note, and mermaid cardstock. And this is so that we can create a rainbow cake. So you know how people make those cool rainbow cakes with all the different colors of layers? I wanted to do that same idea here. So we're going to use the turquoise, a yellow, and a pink to create that same look. So I'm adding a little liquid glue and then just dropping in that die cut piece for a cool inlaid look. And I absolutely adore how this turns out. It's so cute and fun and I really wish it was an actual cake slice. <laughs> we'll then repeat the same idea on the other side. So we're going to add liquid glue and drop in each of those layers decorating the cute outside parts of this cake. Now to finish up the inside of the cake slice box, we're going to do the same technique where we're going to die cut the base of the cake again and just trim it down so we only have the triangle piece and then just drop that right inside the cake and that's going to cover up those little tabs and make it look nice and finished on the inside. The next step is to do the icing of the cake. So we've used some spiffy speckles paper again, but this time in a purple, and I'm loving the pink and purple. It reminds me very much of like a Care Bears kind of color palette, and I am loving it. <laughs> so we're gonna add the tape to the two tabs, and then the four mini tabs, excuse me, five mini tabs. Then we'll peel up all of that liner paper, and we can start to form the top of the cake slice box. So in this case, we're gonna actually start with the curved edge. It kind of doesn't matter with which side you start. It's just kind of a personal preference thing. So I'm starting with the curved edge and just attaching those all along, attaching the edge and then forming the corner. And now we can layer that right onto the box and you can see how cute it's looking. Now for this cake, I wanted it to be more like a little thank you cake slice, so we're going to use the heart. So we folded back on the two tabs just like we did for the candle, and then we layered on that little scallop circle. Then we'll add some liquid glue and sandwich the liquid glue between the base of the heart and then that decorative scalloped piece. Now in this case, I wanted there to be the stitch tart on both sides of the cake. So I cut another one of those and just trimmed off the base. And now we can attach it to the other side of the heart so that there's stitching on both sides. You can see that you would do the same concept with the star. So you could do the star or the heart, or you could even do the flower, heart, or star single pieces and just use that to decorate the top of the cake. And so this is a little bit of a quicker option because you can just layer that right on top like that. Next, we'll add a little liquid glue to the base of that heart and then attach that right on there. And I love how quick and easy these 3D elements are to form and how much they add to the cake. I also think it's really cute to just cut the two pieces of the cake out of pattern paper and do that. Another fun trick is to use these at decoration for a party. So in this case, I've added some li li liquid glue to the inside of the cake slice top to make it a permanent top so that it can't come off. Now, instead of pushing this top all the way down, I'm actually just going to glue it to the very edge and it's going to make it appear like a taller cake slice. So you can have a shorter cake slice with the top pushed all the way down or a taller cake slice if you attach the top at the very edge of the cake bottom. So I love those two different looks. They're so cool. And these cake slices are so much fun to make. You guys are going to love creating these so much. And I think it's such a cute way to present a gift. And here's the really cool look at the whole eight slice cake formed with the cake slice box die. Now we have some amazing samples by the design team and this one by Leticia is so cute. I love how she layered the flowers around the candle to create this really cool 3D element. Elena made the cake slice box be completely elegant. Oh my goodness, this could be even for a wedding. And I love how she used the pattern paper from Spiffy Speckles to fill in the layers of the cake and that really cute 3D flower that she created. Here, Megan created a carrot cake. So she used one of our carrot die cuts and layered it on top and it's the cutest idea. This card by Kay is so sweet. I love how she added those little dots to the scallops of the cake. And then here, Yanea did some amazing ink blending. I absolutely love the pink and red combo. This would be super, super sweet for Valentine's Day, and I love how she put a little chocolate truffle inside. Here, Shari got super creative, and she actually layered two of the cake bottoms together to create a really tall cake slice. So you can see here, the two pieces are layered off of each other, and this is absolutely adorable, and you can even present two gifts this way. 
So I can't wait to see what you guys do with the cake size box. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.